Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the Java 8 comparators null handling using nulls first and nulls last method. So here you can see if you go to the comparator interface and you can see the list of methods which is available in the comparator interface. Here in this video, basically we are going to talk about these two methods nulls first and nulls last. Uh, there are the instances where the sort key value is nullable. We have to then decide whether we want to place objects with sort key as a null uh, earlier in the ordering uh, than the objects with none, null, uh, none, uh, null uh, sort key. At the, end, uh, at the end of the list, after the objects with none null uh, sort key, Java 8 completer provides nulls first and nulls last static method for exactly uh, such sort order handling of null values sort keys. And these methods are called nulls first and nulls last. Right? So let's try to understand this method through an example. So here I have created a project with name completer sorting with nulls demo and I have created a, a model class is called employee uh, who which is having two private fields constructor obligator method and i have overridden to string method so that we can print object of a state in nice format now in client program i have created employee list and there i have added some employees right so uh, so uh, to understand the functioning of these two methods uh, let us make the few of the employee name as null so let's copy and I would say name of the employee we can make null over here and again I'm going to so let's say null and Let's say not put in a regular fashion. So let's all put alternately like this. Okay. Now we'll perform shorting on it, and we'll see uh, after shorting where nulls nulls are uh, uh, getting displayed in the sorted uh, list, right? So. The comparator has a method. Let's go for the comparator then. Comparator, sorry, uh, has a method is called comparing, which already we have seen earlier video tutorial. So here I'm talking about this method, which accepts two uh, argument comparing method is accepts two argument. So first argument I'm gonna take a uh, method reference. So employee double colon get name and second argument I'm gonna pass comparators dot uh, nulls first okay and here again I'm going to pass method reference string double colon compared to okay in this way we get the computer object so let's say this computer is a comp and we can uh, in this list in list interface already we have seen a sort method right which accepts comparator so this comparator object we can pass it over here okay and after shorting let's display the uh, elements so uh, list on list we can call for each method right for each and here we'll have to pass the object of consumer which we are going to pass as a method reference And if I run this program, then let's see what output we are getting. 
so in this sorted list you can see I mean employee whose name is null uh, in sorting sorted list uh, that is getting displayed first right because we have used a uh, method is called uh, comparator method is called nulls first that's why this uh, list of employees getting sorted and uh, wherever the employee name is null that is all uh, employee with the null is uh, keeping first and then uh, employee with the non null uh, value is coming so the uh, method name itself signifying the, that what is the functionality of this method so now keeping the employee list same and invoking the comparators using nulls last and see what is the result we are getting right so this comparator i'm going to comment and let's copy and put it over here uh, instead of nulls last uh, nulls first we will use nulls last right this is also a method and at this time you'll get the output in different manner employee whose name is null is kept in the last in the sorting so use cases of this two methods are pretty straightforward i hope you understood what's the use of nulls first and nulls last uh, thanks for watching this video and this code i'm going to put on the github and github location i will specify in the video description itself so that you can download code from github and if you like this video then please do subscribe my youtube channel uh, and see you next video tutorial thanks for watching this video